Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be a new combo tutorial for the new March 31st, 2017 format ban list, and this is going to be a combo tutorial for Zodiac Beasts. Another one, essentially. I'm doing a lot of these today just so you guys can get a little bit of a better idea of how you should be structuring at least the basics of what you're going to be trying to do with uh, this theme if you are trying to continue playing Zoo into uh, into either a pure deck or a hybrid deck going forward. But with Rat Pier being semi-limited, there's obviously a lot of like different things that have to change as far as thought processes, and this is something I'm hoping to like spark some innovation from you guys in as far as like either using these plays or coming up with even better plays because I literally have put only a tiny amount of thought process into these before I figured these out. So like it's it's actually like really simple as far as like in theory how you can do it. But this is a fusion substitute combo, another one of them. But this one is a two card combo. This one ends with three uh, with a plus two. You end up drawing two cards and you end with dried it and you end with emerald while drawing two cards, but it is a two card combo as opposed to the terra top combo I showed you before. Uh, now this one requires a zodiac barrage plus any Zodiac card in the game. It can be Rat, it can be Viper, it can be Whiptail, uh, it can be uh, uh, Thoroughblade, it can be any of them. Um, it could be literally any of the level 4 normal summonable Zodiac Beasts in the game. Or it could be like just a random level 4 like special summon monster, like a Photon Thrasher or something like that. Like that's actually an option as well. Like there's a lot of different options for what you have access to that you could use in place of uh, in place of this extra combo piece. It just has to be a card that can put itself on the board. Hell, it could be Summoner Monk and you could discard the Barrage. Like, like that's how insane uh, it is like in terms of like the overlap that you have for like potential ways to start these things uh, but literally like I said it can be any zoo um, it can be rat it can be any of them uh, but then just plus barrage so you'll start off by activating your barrage and you will target it to destroy itself and you will special summon rat from deck if you do not already have it if you have rat in your hand then you would just special summon a different name you'd special summon your whip tail uh, most likely because whip tail will just give you the best uh, best sort of value out of it or if you wanted to rotate cards out of your hand with thoroughblade then you can summon thoroughblade as well but so you'll summon your Rat here, you'll overlay your Borbo, and then you will detach the Rat here to summon the second copy of Rat here from your deck. And then from here, you will overlay Broad Bull on top of the second Rat here, detaching it to search for your Lunalite Black Sheep. And then you will discard the Lunalite Black Sheep to uh, add your Fusion Substitute to your hand. And then you will use Fusion Substitute, uh, fusing these two Exceeds into your Elder Entity Norden. And then you will just bring back your Zodiac Rat Pierre. And so this should look very similar to literally the previous two combo videos that I put up because it literally is the exact same steps, like over and over again. So you'll just do your Emerald and you will shuffle back your two Zoo Exceeses and your Rat Pierre, uh, just leaving the Norden Engrave. That's the only important thing. So you'll shuffle those back. You will draw a random card. Uh, this is Engrave. And then from here, you'll just be able to normal summon your Whip Tail. And then you'll be able to overlay into Tiger Mortar into Dryden just to give it some extra materials under it. Uh, and then off of that, you'll be able to use your Fusion Substitute, banishing it, putting your Norden back in your extra deck, and then drawing another random card. So it doesn't yield you a plus three like just the Terra Top does, but it still ends you with a Dryden with a Whiptail under it if uh, Whiptail was the card that you had in your hand. Uh, or like whatever card you had in your hand, if it was a Zodiac Beast that had attack point value, then your Dryden is going to have an attack or defense point value. So like it could have been Ram Ram, it could have been Thoroughblade, it could have been anything. Whiptail is obviously just the best result uh, because Whiptail is the one you want to be maxing out on. Whiptail is the one that allows you to banish things, all that sort of stuff. It turns your Dryden into non-targeting removal, uh, so like it's just really good for that. But then you just drew you drew two random cards, so you're able to you know draw in trap cards, gain resources, do all that sort of nonsense, and you put a rat back in your deck that you could still use next turn potentially if you uh, detach the rat off the emerald and re-equip it with something like tiger mortar or whatever so it's definitely something that's very possible the deck is still very playable uh, in certain forms I don't know if it's gonna be something that's gonna be more of like a hybrid type thing that allows the deck to be you know usable as a hybrid with a lot of like good level 4 normal summons and then be used off of like terra top and barrage to just supplement that engine or if it's something that could actually go forward as a pure variant. I haven't done a lot of playtesting like with the ideas or theory with the ideas, but I've definitely done enough to come up with these sorts of things that still show that it is still at least viable with good, easy card combinations. So, But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Any questions, comments, or concerns, all that nonsense, definitely be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And check out the links in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then Patreon is the way to go, as well as it gets you access into a monthly raffle giveaway for a high dollar card and or sealed Konami product. Product, whatever the flavor of the month is at that point essentially 
as well as possible access to my personal Discord server to chat with me and play games with me for videos and such. It's one of the reward tiers, so definitely check that out if that's something you're interested in. But other than that, if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel, then be sure to check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel. All the Zodiac Beast cards that you've seen in these videos that I've been doing are directly from them. They are allowing me to use them via our sponsorship like agreement that I have with them. So I'm a big fan of how they do business. I'm a big fan of the support they're giving me. And their pricing and their shipping that I've dealt with thus far are also top notch. So definitely give them a look at. If you're looking to acquire cards you've seen me use in this video or other videos, all that sort of nonsense, then definitely be sure to check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, that is it for this video. Again, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And as usual, guys, take care. I will see you in the next video if I come up with any more of these Zodiac combos to show you for the new format.